Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, have you reached a verdict? Yes, Your Honor. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty as charged. Before I pass sentence, I wish to thank you two gentlemen in behalf of the state for the valuable evidence you have furnished this court in bringing this criminal to justice. It's men like you this country should be proud of. <laughs> Order in the court. The defendant will now stand up. Has the defendant anything to say in his own behalf? No. I hereby sentence you to prison for the rest of your natural life. Aren't you going to hang him? Order <laughs> in the court! You dirty double crossing squealers. You rats. I'll get even with you if it's the last thing I ever do. Ain't a jail in this country strong enough to hold me. But when I do get out, I'll break off your legs and I'll wrap them around your neck. <laughs> there you go! <laughs> Listen, fellas, if you take my advice, you'll get out of town as soon as possible. The butch is like an elephant. He never forgets. Why don't you keep your mouth shut? What did I do? Yes, what you did, you put us right on the spot. Everything would have been all right if you hadn't said, aren't you going to hang him? Couldn't you see that he was annoyed? Right. Why, if he ever gets out of there, our lives won't be worth five cents. Well, maybe we'd better get out of town. Now, how are we going to get out of town? Well, we've got a car. So what are we going to run it on? On the road. On the road. What are we going to use for gas? Well, we got enough money to buy some gas. Not enough to go as far as I want to go. Say, that gives me an idea. Why, why don't we advertise for somebody to go with us? What do we want somebody to go with us for? Help drive and, and share expenses. Just like when we came out here. Remember? At last, you're using my brains. We'll go to the newspaper office and put in an ad? Immediately. doing in there? Never mind what I'm doing in here. Help me get out. Go! Oh, like that. Get behind me and pull me out. Are you ready? All right, go!
Did you put the advertisement in the paper? Yeah, and, and they printed it. What does it say? Do you want me to read it to you? Certainly. Wait till I get me glasses. Won't take a minute. It serves you right. No wonder I couldn't see through them. Why? They're yours. I'll read it. <clears throat> to whom it may concern. To whom it may concern. Well, that's so nobody else will read it. Two young gentlemen. That's us. I'll read it. All right, read it. Come home, Nellie. All is forgiven. I... Two young gentlemen who are making a motor trip east would like for someone to drive and also pay expenses, like when we came out here. Phone, Maine, 489. Sincerely yours, Mr. Laurel and Mr. Hardy. P.S. Those not interested do not answer. What do you think of it? It's very nice. Brief and right to the point. Mm. Can I help you with anything? Pack up those cooking utensils. Don't take that. You know it doesn't belong to us. What about the milk? You better take that. We might need it. See who that is. Hello? Are you the party who uh, advertised for a traveling companion? Yes, ma'am. Who is it? It's a lady about the trip. Oh. <clears throat> Just a minute, my friend, Mr. Hardy, will speak to you. Hello. Uh, excuse me, please. My ear is full of milk. Brush that off. Pardon the delay, please. But what is the nature of your business? I understand you're driving east. And I'd like to go along. Well, that suits me fine. How soon do you expect to leave? Why, at your convenience, of course. <laughs> well, I'm ready to go right now, baby. Uh, what is the address, please? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be right over. Goodbye. <laughs> That's enough.
much. What are you doing here? I took a vacation. Oh, why did you make a break? You know they'll get you. I got an account to settle. One of the gang double-crossed you? No. A couple of mugs opened their traps too wide. So what? I know how to shut them up. What are you going to do, Butch? I'm going to search this town from end to end till I find them. <laughs> oh, but Butch, you can't stay here. This is the first place the bulls will look for you. Uh, here they are now. Quick, down the fire escape. Go on. Not a chance. They probably got the place surrounded. All right, then hide in here. And if the worst comes to the worst, you can shoot your way out. All right, Come on. Get, get my gun. In the trunk. How do you do? Uh, we are the gentlemen you're going east with. Oh, won't you come in? Oh, thank you. Uh, flowers for you. Oh. I'm Mr. Hart. And... <laughs> As I was saying, I'm Mr. Hart. This is my friend, Mr. Laurel. Oh, how do you do? Well, are we all ready to go? Well, I was. Uh, well, you I... haven't changed your mind, have you? Oh, no, no. Uh, but you see, a, a friend of mine just dropped in, and uh, he's awfully anxious to leave town. And, uh, well, I was wondering if, uh, if you could possibly uh, make room for him. Oh, why, certainly. <laughs> the more, the merrier. <laughs> oh, that's awfully nice of you. Why, he'll just be tickled to death. <laughs> well, don't be long, because we've got to get going. What's your hurry? Oh, we've got to get out of town as fast as we can. You see, a fella, he, he told us that if he ever caught up with us, he was going to break off our legs and was going to tie them around our necks. Didn't he? Hmm, don't you worry. With my friend along, nobody would dare harm you. Oh, but you don't know this other fella. Oh, yeah? Well, you don't know my friend. If you'll just sit down, I'll have him come on and meet you. <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> sit down, Stanley. <clears throat> it's okay, Butch. You can come out. Who was it? Some friends of mine. I want you to meet them. Okay. Open the trunk. All right. Hurry up. I'm choking in here. But Butch is locked. Well, unlock it. Oh, well, I can't. I haven't got the key. Well, ain't that so well, you dumb cluck. Ah, oh, take it easy. Do you happen to have any keys? Keys? Yes, and my friend got locked in the trunk and he can't get out. Locked in the trunk? Yes, well, you see, he was packing and he accidentally fell in. It could happen. Uh, maybe you could help me open it. <laughs> Show us the trunk and we'll have it open in a jiffy. Right in here. You better. Get me out of here. I can't breathe. Now, take it easy. My friends are going to help oh. you out. It's locked. Of course it's locked. That's why he can't get out. There's only one way to get it open, and that's to break the lock. Have you got a hammer? Sure. Here's some tools. Help yourself. Just be a minute now. Hey! Cut that off! Oh, May! Yeah? Slip over and get Jerry. He'll open it. Okay, kid. Now, don't go away. I'll be right back. Is there something we can do to help you? Can we get you a sandwich or something? Sandwich? Nothing. There's no air in here. I'm joking to death. It is uh, hot, isn't it? Sure is. Uh, 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 How's that? How's what? That's uh, no good. What we'll have to do is bore some holes uh, in the trunk. That's a good idea. Uh, what? Wait there. We're going to bore some holes in the trunk. Uh, uh, 
You be oh. careful. Well, I didn't know his head was on, on oh. that end. Oh. Now put a hole oh. in there. Idea. Where's Butch? Wouldn't you like to know? Come on. Say, listen, where do you think you're taking me? Listen, fellas, I got an easier way to get me out of here. What is your suggestion? Get the blowtorch and melt the lock off. That's a good idea. Get the blowtorch. Another nice mess you've gotten me into. <laughs> <laughs> 